Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in today's tutorial we are going to talk about different types of Discord status icons. Now previously I posted a poll on my YouTube channel under the community section asking how many types of Discord status icons are there. Now some of you guys said 2, some of you said 3, some of you said 4 and the majority of them said 5. Now what's the right answer? I'm pretty much excited to say that because if you said 5 and you added the custom status as a part of the status icon, then you are probably wrong. So stay tuned with me to know the right answer for that. But before I move on, just a short introduction to myself. So if you are new to my channel and you don't know what is this channel about, then I make videos regarding to Discord, tips, tricks, and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level. So if you are someone new to Discord or if you've been using Discord for a while or you're trying to use Discord, you know, to learn tips, tricks, and tutorials and learn how to grow your server and so far, then make sure to subscribe to this channel because those are the videos that I make on and I have a lot in the future to give you guys, so just stay tuned with me. And make sure to join my Discord server because I just recently made it and who knows, you know, soon in the future I'm planning on to make a lot of Discord Nitro giveaways, so just stay tuned with me there. Anyways, let's see the right answer for the poll. So the right answer for the poll here is, there are 5 different types of Discord status icons. Now if you added the 5th one as a custom status, then you are wrong. But if you know the right answer, then congrats, you are a Discord pro, <laughs> you almost know Discord for a long time. But yeah, so before I move on just for those people who are new to Discord, when I say Discord status icon, by that I mean those colored dots that you see beside your name, beside your friend's name, beside every person's name within Discord. Now, there are a total of five different colors, and you can easily change them. So, so there are two ways the status icon works within Discord. The first way is Discord controlling it itself for you and the other way is you manually changing your status icon. Now if you want to manually change your status icon you can go here at the bottom where you see your own profile picture besides your name and the Glock icon here which is the user settings. You click on your profile picture and then you can see all four different types of status icons. Now the fifth one is not here, I'm going to explain to you guys in a moment which one is the fifth one. So let's go into you know deep details one by one, which one of them are there and what are the job for each of them. So starting off with the first one, the first one is the green one and that is known as online status. Now this is a normal one, it means you are online, the person is online within discord. It's a normal one, literally on every social media right there. So simple and easy. Now the second one here is the yellow one and that is known as idle. Now generally if you are on the online mode, which is this one right here, the green one, and you are let's say using this code for a very long time and you fell asleep. Let's say you just fell asleep while your discord is open. Now what discord will do here is that if discord detects that you are away from your keyboard for a quite period of time, then Discord is going to turn your online mode from green into the yellow mode, which is the idle mode. So this basically means that you are now AFK. That's what it means. Now, if anyone is, you know, staring at your profile picture, they will know that you may have fallen asleep or you may have been AFK or you may have been, you know, like you're not currently available on your desktop. That's what it means. So that's how Discord automatically changes your online status to idle status. Now, if you want to manually change it, you can go here, as you can see here on my profile picture, it's green, but you can change it into idle by going and clicking on your profile picture and choosing the idle option here. Now, when I click, you can see I'm also having the idle online status icon. Now, this is the second one. The third one here is the next one, which is on red color, and that is known as do not disturb. Now, this cannot be really done by Discord automatically. You have to manually set it from here, right from where you chose idle. So when you click on do not disturb, as you can see here below, it says you will not receive any desktop notifications. Now, generally, this is just for desktop at the moment. So if you are on idle or online and someone sends you a message or you are within a Discord server, which is unmuted and it's a small community and, you know, their messages are enabled. So you're going to receive a notification at the bottom right corner here. 
from Discord. But if you go on to the do not disturb mode, you turn your icon on to the red one. So in this way, no matter whoever is texting you, no matter whichever server you are in, which is unmuted, you will not be receiving any notifications, but you know, they can still send you texts and you can still see their messages later whenever you are free. So you can just minimize Discord and focus on your work. Now the fourth one here is the gray color or the invisible color and that is known as offline mode. Now Discord automatically turns you into the offline mode if you go offline. So if you close the Discord application on any device that you are on, you are going to be shown as offline. But you can also manually, you know, make yourself offline by going to the same location here, clicking on your profile picture and then clicking on the invisible mode. Now, as it says below here, you will not appear online, but will have full access to all of Discord. Pretty simple. It's just that you're being shown that you're offline, but from behind you're lurking on. So that's the fourth one. Now, the fifth one here is actually an interesting one. There are a few people out there who are not aware of this, and that is because this is not really for everyone. And the fifth one, which I'm talking about here is the purple one and that is known as the streaming mode. Now this is only available for you if you go to your settings and enable the streaming mode and then you know if you are let's say streaming on Twitch and Discord detects it of course obviously your Twitch has to be connected with Discord and then once it's connected and your setting is enabled Discord is going to detect and turn your, you know, status icon into the streaming mode. So that is the fifth one. Now comment down below and let me know what was the fifth one that you guys were guessing. Was it actually the custom command or was it actually the purple one, which is the streaming mode? I'm kind of excited here and just want to know how many people know about Discord status icons. So yeah, well, that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching. If you guys enjoyed watching and if you guys learned something new here then make sure to leave a like to this video because if you do so then you know it's going to help youtube's algorithm helping the video reaching up to the top so if there are people new to discord and they need help on understanding the different types of status icons what each of them does or how many types are there you know they can search on youtube and this video is going to help them a lot also make sure if you have your friends share them and yeah Make sure to subscribe to my channel, keep an eye on the community section of my YouTube channel. Now what I'm trying to do here is that every time I plan to make a new video, before that I'm going to you know, send a specific question, it may be a poll, it may be a general post where you can answer using the comment section and that topic is going to be the upcoming topic of the video. So that's all for today, make sure to join my Discord server, subscribe to my channel and peace out.